Cancer, thanks for stopping by my channel, Beyond the Moon. I am doing your general You Verse Them love reading for the second week of March. However, time is fluid, so I trust that when you watch this, you're meant to see it, all right? So, um, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Cancer, I'm going to do your energy on this side, your person's on this side. Feel free to switch roles as you see fit. It could be the whole side, it could be one or two things that need to be flip-flopped or reversed. There could be one or two things that don't resonate and that message, message is just for somebody else, all right? So, um, quick announcement. I am doing a giveaway March 10th. I will be pulling the drawing, the winner. Um, Moonology deck, I love it. It's one of my favorites. I am gonna use it in this spread. Um, it's simple to understand. There is a guidebook that comes with it. So in order to enter, all you have to do is three simple things. Yes, all three. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment your name below. That will get you entered. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading, information is in the description box um, as well. And um, I did start up my social media, you guys, the Facebook page, Instagram, TikTok. So please Follow me on those. I am going to start doing more interactive stuff, live readings, um, things like that. So um, be sure to follow me on social media. All right. Cancer. Let's see what's going on in love. You could be single. You could be in a connection. It's whoever is on your mind the most. All right. We're going to see what's going on. I'm going to get into your energy and then into theirs. All right. Cancer in love. What is going on with Cancer in love? Ooh, true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. All right, so whoever you're thinking about, it could be your true love here. Anything else, any other messages for Cancer? Thank you. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Let's see if I can get another message for cancer. Thank you. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Ooh. This one fell out. Heal healing family issues and love yourself first, bottom of the deck. So uh, maybe some self-work, inner work needs to take some place, whether it's you or your person. Um, but make sure that you hold your standards high, okay? Um, don't let people walk all over you. Love yourself first. The more you love yourself, the more love you can give, right? Um, so let's see, what is Cancer's overall energy? What is Cancer's overall energy? This one wants to come out, but it didn't fully. A new start is coming, new moon. That's going to be coming up soon, the new moon. Um, we just had the full one last week, so in like a week. Um, so a new start. Your person's overall energy, surrender to the divine, full moon. <laughs> so you have new moon, they have full moon. You could be going in a cycle here with somebody. Um, but your person may need to surrender. Um, maybe they're trying to control the outcome or... Um, maybe they have things that they need to release or just let things happen as they're supposed to. All right. So cancer, what is going on with you right now? All right. Temperance, Sagittarius energy could be dealing with the Sag. Don't have to be. Um, I feel like you're in an energy of really finding balance or you're really just believing in divine timing here. All right. There's the moon and the sun in that card. Um, all right, so we have the hermit in reverse, Pisces energy. All right, so yeah, you are looking at things from a different perspective. It may you possibly have gotten some clarity on something, and now it's like instead of forcing it or instead of you know having some kind of control of the outcome, you're just going with the flow, letting divine do its thing. You feel like maybe this is just meant to be and it's easy. Yeah, all right. So the Fool, Aries energy, taking that leap of faith into the unknown. What else in Cancer's energy? Four of Pentacles. So you could be holding on to finances or holding back from spending money, or this is you holding on to a connection. 
or holding on to that hope, um, that stability. Can I get one more for Cancer's energy, please? One more for Cancer. Ace of Swords, yeah. So a new truthful beginning, something that you believe in, you know to be true, you know to be fair. That's good energy. I feel like you're in good energy. Maybe some truth came out and you're seeing things clearly and you know what direction you want to go. So let's see what's going on with your person, Cancer. What's going on with your person, the Empress? You could be dealing with a Taurus or um, Libra, but the Empress is loving, caring, nurturing, um, motherly, whether it's male or female. This is a lot, but I'll take them. You could be dealing with another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You don't have to be. Um, but this is a pretty strong energy here. <laughs> All right. Um, but we also have more strong energy coming through. We have Ten of Swords, the Star, and the Tower. So Aquarius and more Scorpio energy. Um I feel like your person is going through some healing after some kind of a tower moment. It doesn't necessarily mean it was with you. It could have been somebody else from the past. Um, maybe that's why they need to surrender, um, let go of the old and with the new. Um, so I feel like your person is healing some kind of betrayal from some kind of betrayal, um, possibly from another water sign or from... Uh, the Empress could have been someone that they were in a deep connection with or a higher level of commitment with could be a parent mother father figure um, Again f healing family issues. Maybe a parent came in between this connection and caused a tower moment Maybe they didn't approve for some of you um, But overall your person is doing some healing here. They had some kind of a tower moment So let's see what's blocking you from this person External influences and blockages. Anything? <laughs> Anything blocking you from this? Anything? All right. Knight of Swords, Gemini Energy, and Knight of Wands. So... Um, someone could have been kind of like rushing in, rushing out. Um, maybe their actions weren't matching their words. Maybe you had to take a stand here, stand your ground, or you felt like possibly there was a lot of, um, effort, you know, wounded warrior had to put in a lot of effort to fight other people off. Um, I feel like Someone could have had options, and then we have the Emperor Aries energy. So an Aries, again, so now a father figure possibly, or mother, you know, a parent could have gotten involved, a boss could have gotten in the way, so maybe somebody at work. Um, but it looks like somebody may have had some options here, or there was some kind of confusion on what exactly it is that they want. And this could be you, you know, um, it is falling on your side. Um, it's usually what's blocking you from coming together with this person on your side. So <clears throat> you could be focusing a lot on work um, or you're just trying to really get clarity on what it is. But I feel like you are in the energy of having that clarity, that truth, getting to the truth of the matter. Can I get one more that's blocking cancer? Uh, I'm not going to take it. It was the King of Wands, which is basically like the Emperor. Um, victory and success is being blocked. Possibly someone's keeping you waiting to have this start. Um, you could be waiting and it's causing some confusion here. And maybe you had to give this person an ultimatum or maybe you had to stand your ground. Because um, it seems like you know what it is that you want. Like you've, you've gotten clarity here. And you've gotten some truth. Let's see, what's blocking this person? 
What's blocking this person from coming towards Cancer? What's blocking? I'm not going to take all of those, but Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, and Eight of Cups. Um, so you started off with Temperance, going with the flow. So you could be walking away, or this person is walking away, possibly. I feel like it's a different situation this person is walking away from where they've had some betrayal or backstabbing and some pain and or maybe that person won't walk away from them they could be connected to a Sagittarius that isn't leaving won't leave refuses to leave doesn't have to be a Sag okay the Emperor the Emperor is in both of your blockages so it could be an Aries um, male or female, doesn't matter, could be a parent figure that, you know, take it how it resonates, you guys, a boss, work, whatever. Um, some kind of block in communication here. So it's almost like, you know, maybe for some of you, this person is in a higher level of commitment. Yeah, all right. So we have the Empress and then the King of Cups, which I would refer to as you. Okay, so this is your person's current energy. And then some kind of tower came in. So I feel like this person has somebody that they're trying to get away from to come towards you. This person could have found out about you, caused the tower moment. Um, but I feel like they're kind of giving your person a little bit of trouble walking away or resistance on letting that connection go. Can I get one more for a blockage? One more for a blockage. influence six of cups and eight of swords yeah this your person's feeling very stuck um possibly with someone from their past or someone that they have a higher level of commitment with they could be feeling brokenhearted right now or they're working on fixing their broken heart here Someone's not, it's like someone's not walking away from something here. And I feel like it's, I feel like your person is involved with somebody else. And that somebody else is keeping your person stuck. It could be like an ex of theirs that just like refuses to let them go. It could be causing some kind of drama. Maybe that's why you had to take a stand here. Um, let's see, how do you genuinely feel towards this person? How do you genuinely feel towards this person? You feel like they're juggling or they're undecided? Or you are? Maybe you're undecided about this person. Uh, Justice, Libra, could be dealing with Libra. You feel like this person is is trying to be fair, but it's not completely because it's not in your favor and you want things to go in your favor. Um, this person could be, like I said, in a contract agreement with somebody. They could be married. They could have kids together. You feel like this person is causing some toxic energy, Capricorn, or the person that they're connected to is toxic. You feel like they're leaving you out in the cold. They could be putting you through cycles, false starts over and over again. False start, false start, far, false start. A new start is coming. Be careful that it's not going to be another false start. You're feeling very left out in the cold and you're feeling a toxic bond here. And you just want to be happy. The Leo energy. This person does make you happy. You do see happiness with them. 
but you're not getting it yet. Um, let's see, how does this person feel towards you? Sorry about my dogs, I can't control it. Justice in reverse. So you have justice here, how you feel about them, and they have it in reverse. It's like this person knows things are unbalanced, or this is like, I can't get out of this contract with this person. What else? How do they feel? Four of Wands. Again, higher level, next level of commitment, engagement. This person may see you as like, I, they want to move towards you. I'm getting that strongly here. They want to move towards you. They see you as a, as a wish fulfillment, twin flame, soulmate type connection here. They want to take this to the next level or at least have some kind of a start with you here. Um, but it's being blocked. Yeah, equal give and take. They want to give to you equally. They can't. Maybe they feel like you're breadcrumbing them a little bit just because you're possibly walking away from them or you're... I feel like you gave this person like an ultimatum. Like, is this going to happen or is it not? You know, the, the, there's true love here. This could be the one. What else? How else does this person feel? Yeah, they're holding on to you. They want to heal this with you and they want to take a leap of faith. Aries energy, more Aries energy. They want to come towards you and heal this. They could be seeing you because you started off with the fool taking that leap of faith and the four of. So they're seeing you how you are in your energy. You could be holding back. From them and going in a different direction that could be scaring them you could have went quiet on them cut off some communication or just not as much let's see what are your hopes for the outcome here cancer's hopes for the outcome hopes for the outcome <laughs> You're hoping that this person makes a damn decision because they you see happiness with them you want them to make a decision take off that blindfold see things clearly for what they are yeah look two of cups soulmate queen of swords you could be dealing with an air sign all right um aquarius libra gemini you don't have to be but i feel like you're You're really hoping to get the full truth of the matter. Full truth, nothing but the truth. You're going to cut out anything that's not going to give you happiness. I really feel like you're giving this person an ultimatum. I really, really do. Yeah, Ten of Wands, because it's a burden. And they're keeping you stuck in cycles. The wheel. You want things to move forward. Yeah, there's passion here. You want things to move forward with this person. But they're stuck, so they can't. So I feel like you're... Should or get off the pot, basically, with this person. You've had it. You've been in enough round and round with them. Um, let's see. What is this person's hope, hopes for the outcome? They want to put the burden down as well. They want to end the burden. Hopes for the outcome. 
hopes for the outcome. This is a lot of cards. I'm not going to take them. Hopes for the outcome. Again, a lot of cards. Mm. We have the Queen of Cups here, Page of Wands, High Priestess, Nine of Swords, so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but I feel like this is you. Um, I feel like if you did give this person an ultimatum, it's stressing them out very, very much, but they do want to come towards you with a passionate message, um, some truth, clarity. They're really trying to go within and see what's right. They see you as the right one it's like they want to take that leap they they see that four of wands with you that next level of commitment strength they just need to get that confidence leo energy again so they're hoping so your person is hoping to get that confidence to end this crap this burden this anxiety to come towards you the new passionate offer possibly to celebrate with you it's like they're waiting for the right time they're waiting for the right time surrender to the divine <laughs> for your person uh, they need that confidence though that strength because right now this is they're in this energy and they need to get this to this energy where they're going within they're getting the clarity and the strength all right let's see what would this person like to say to you cancer i wasn't honest with you about my feelings at the time What else would this person like to say to Cancer? You were the love of my life. I didn't figure that out before. Now I know it's true. Yeah, so they're starting to see. I miss looking into your eyes and into your soul. anything else if this resonates you guys please like subscribe share comment hit the bell um, please comment like subscribe to be entered into the giveaway follow me on social media and if you'd like to book a reading information is down below in the description so yeah we have separation sadness missing you thinking about you yearning unsure of future again i feel like you gave this person an ultimatum and that's why they're like in this energy okay you, you could have just walked away, maybe not necessarily an ultimatum. You could have just said, mm, you're keeping me stuck, waiting too long. Not enough, frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego, jealousy. That's this person. They might have fear that they're not enough for you. They, they're lacking confidence. They definitely are self-sabotaging. Um... And jealousy, this card, the next card, it hurts to see online that you've moved on with your life. So this person holds some jealousy here. But it's not your fault. Like, you're, you've are you tried, I feel like. Um, coffin, yeah, endings bring new beginnings. Growth, tra change, liberation, transition. Kisses, unconditionally loving. Giving and receiving affection and falling in love. This is what you want from this connection. That's all you want from this person. Is that equal give and take, that love and affection? Um, I feel like it, it's possible here, okay? There's definitely love here. There's definitely this person trying to work through. Um, however, you, I feel like, are kind of... You see this person as a soulmate. You want this to work. They make you happy. But I feel like you're kind of at that point where it's like, is this going to go anywhere? Or... You know, divine timing is definitely at play here. So, a new start is coming. <laughs> with If it's with this person, I don't know. There's a new start somewhere along your line. I feel like it is with this person. They just need to release and surrender 
and get rid of the fear and let go of the other person if there is someone else. But all right, Cancer, um, until next time, love and light. Take care.